Hello and welcome to Revit Beginner Program. Let's talk about perspectives today. There are different types of perspectives. One point perspective, two points, bird's eye view, bomb's eye view. Can we create all these different types of perspective views in Revit using the camera tool? Today in this episode, we are going to explore just that. So let's begin. I have the small pilot project of a residential unit. I'm going to show you how we can create different types of perspective views in this pilot project. To begin with, I let's go to the site plan, go to the view tab under 3D view. Let's start activate the camera tool. Once you activate this camera tool, the little camera symbol is going to follow your cursor around. Make sure it's that from the options bar, the perspective sign is switched on, which means whatever the view is going, this camera is going to create, it's going to be a perspective. So the first click that you're going to do is uh, where you are going to stand and hold the camera in your hand. So this is where I want to stand. And then next you have to tell your camera tool where to look at. So that's your target point. And I'm going to give the target point somewhere around in this top right corner so that my entire building is within the view depth. And here you see that my I can see my entire building over here. And this is a beautiful two point perspective view. You can go ahead and change its graphic display options. You can also go ahead and change its uh, some of these settings. Let's go ahead and create a little bit of jitter and extensions here so that it looks like as if we have sketched it. We can also switch on the shadows here. So this is um, a very handy tool to create a beautiful uh, two point perspective. Now let me go ahead and switch off the shadows, put it back to the shaded mode and switch off my sketchy lines options. We talked about the sketchy lines in my previous videos where you can um, check um, the different ways of presenting a view. Now here in this particular view, there are two parameters that are important. One is eye elevation and other is target elevation. Now both of these values are same set to 1.75 meters by default. This means you're holding a camera in your hand at your eye level and looking straight towards your target also at eye level. So when you change these two parameters, you have the ability to change uh, the way your view looks. For example, if I want to create a warm's eye view, which means a view that a warm looks at at a building. So your eye elevation is very low and your target elevation is very high. So if we want to do this, let's go ahead and change the eye elevation to zero and target elevation to about 10 meters. This means we are holding, a warm is holding a camera and looking up towards the building. So this practice is usually used when you want to create a perspective of a very tall building or when you want your building to appear very tall. So look at this particular building that it looks very interesting from this kind of perspective. And we have to do exactly opposite if you want to create a bird's eye view, which means a bird is holding a camera on a very up uh, eye elevation and looking down towards the target. So let me change the eye elevation to 20 meters and target to zero. So if you do this, you can see how we have given the camera in hand, the hands of a bird who is flying around. So it's like a picture taken from a drone. So your eye elevation is up. And your target elevation is down. If you're not sure about what eye elevation or target elevations to keep, you can always use your orbit tool, press shift and central mouse button to move around your view and adjust this a little bit more visually. However, be careful while orbiting because sometimes you get to orbit uh, too much and do you reach to a point where your perspective is quite distorted. If something like that happens and if you want to go back and readjust your camera view in a site plan, let's go ahead and try to do that. So how do we find the position of the camera in the floor plan of this 3D view one? It's quite easy. Go to your project browser, right click on the name of your view, 3D view one in this case, and choose show camera. Once you do that, your camera is going to be visible. So this is the camera. So this is where you're standing and you can adjust the position of it even after you have created this view. And then if you look at the straight line in the middle, you have a little uh, red or slightly pinkish colored circle. This is a target point. So your camera, what your camera is pointing at, and you can always adjust this and point towards a different thing. 
this big rectangle that you see here is your view depth how much your camera is looking at so you can take this little blue circle um, and bring it down or bring it higher depending on how much you want to see so when i do this and go back to 3d view one you'll see that i don't really see much from here let me increase this and you'll see that i do see my building over here you can always go ahead and adjust your view a little bit here you can adjust your crop region you can adjust your graphic display options and make different types of presentation of that particular view if you would like to export this view as an image file you can also do that by going into file export all the way down to images and animation and image and here you can choose the current window or use selected views if you have multiple views of you have, you have created them i'm going to choose a current window i'm going to change the output location to my desktop and call it perspective and you can choose whether uh, you want to fit to this uh, particular window of this picture size or you want to zoom to 100 percent and what is the raster image quality if you want this to be 600 dpi or 72 dpi or so on and what format of image you want to export whether it's jpeg or png or tiff and so on i'm going to do it uh, 72 dpi and have a look so this is the perspective that i have exported if you want you can always use visibility graphics and switch on and off the elements that you don't want to see for example i have these grid lines that um, are visible in my perspective view which i want to be hidden so i will go into visibility graphics annotations and switch off my grid lines so far we've talked about two point perspectives let's talk about one point perspective let's go ground floor plan where i want to make a perspective of this particular room and let's go ahead in the camera tool and i'm going to start from this point now the difference between a one point perspective and two point perspective is that the eye elevation and target elevation has to be the same and also you have to look directly straight towards your target so that way you create a one point perspective so i'm going to do look as straight as possible and look here and you can always adjust your view depths a little bit from here and you can see how we have created an interior view which is a one point perspective you can also do that for an exterior view so for example if i go to the site plan and i want to go to view 3d view camera I want to place my camera a little far away so I can see my entire building and look if you look somewhere around like this this is going to create a two-point perspective if your uh, camera and your target is exactly in the same direction in the same line it's going to create a one-point perspective something like this let me hide this plant so you see this is more of a one-point perspective now when we are working with perspectives you can always choose to have a shaded mode or realistic mode but i personally like to make it um, make it into hidden mode and especially with graphic display options you start using sketchy lines because this way it has uh, absolutely a very different flavor of a hand sketched uh, perspective i switch on the shadows i have a little jitter here because of the resolution on the screen but let's just try to do it like this isn't that beautiful? I hope you enjoyed today's episode. In the next one, we're going to talk about walkthroughs. How do we create a walkthrough in and around your building in Revit without using any additional plugins or any other softwares? So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.